this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the Goldmate 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour LifePo 4 battery. Check this out, everybody. So I had just got this in, and if you're like me, and you know you got a lot of like solar panels and power inverters and trolling motors and a little bit of everything, and you need to run it off a battery like this, well, I got me a battery in to run all that. So today what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of do a brief description of the battery in the box, and then I'm going to hook it up to a power inverter and run some power tools and show you, actually, let's just go ahead and take it out of the box, because I don't think there's much literature on the side of the box. But number one, it came very nicely package you can see they styrofoamed it in there so it's open it up you know we'll take the styrofoam out comes with a little user manual right here we will go over the user manual here in a minute but right now let's just go ahead and take the battery out and that's all that's in there very nicely packaged you know they did a good job on that we'll put the box aside they do have terminal blocks on them so i always like it when a company puts these terminal lids on. oh man don't drop your washer so it looks like the terminal is plastic on top, which is really good because that helps from arcing and sparking off. And then it comes with a washer and a lock washer. You can see how those terminals are. I like these terminals, everybody. That's really good that they did that. They have the strap for carrying. This strap is removable, by the way. So like a lot of these batteries, they have this removable strap. You could see on the top. Okay, so putting it over on its side here, let's just kind of like go over the front of the, the battery right here. This is the Goldmate. It's the model L L. FP 12,100 and that it's a 12.8 volts 100 amp hours it's 1,280 watt hours which is a pretty much a standard on any of these like 100 um, amp hour batteries this has the charge voltage of 14.4 which is 14.6 volts max the charge current is a 20 amp to 50 amp max the continuous discharge current is 100 amps because that's what it is it's a 100 amp hour battery operating temperatures is uh, 0 celsius to 50 which is what negative cell discharge negative 20 celsius to plus 60 celsius you know just some little bit of um literature there and i don't think there's much on the other side or the back no you can see right here and then looking over the owner's manual here kind of gives you an idea it's 20 it's 212 millimeters that way 328 millimeters that way you can run this in parallel or a modular depends on if you how many batteries you have and you want to kind of match your batteries because a lot of times you know the battery the bms systems in these batteries might conflict so if you're going to run a parallel or modular make sure you get all the gold mates and run them together like that that's something that i do when i do that and i I run a solar panel on these things uh, we went over some of the, the voltages there you can kind of see the width terminals are m8 terminals that's what an m8 is the case is a abs case set up on it there so this is something the, the so the cycle life on this battery is 5,000 charges and that gets it still down to 80 percent so you still have 80 percent after 5,000 charges and discharges here so what i'm going to do now let me grab my power inverter i've got a 1500 watt power inverter i'm going to hook it up to this battery then i'm going to run some power tools and see how that works and that'll give us a good idea on the power this thing can push out so let's go ahead and let's get the power inverter now okay now that i have the inverter hooked up there let me just turn it around here you can see how i got it ran right there so there's the inverter this is a 1500 watt turn that on well I see I got green power there so this little sander this is one of my little sanders I use this for testing things a lot we'll plug this in right here this thing oh it I heard the fan kick on already so the fans on it so you'd want to go max power on these things is 300 watt per channel if you're going to be running this but let's try this out well, that worked really well. Listen to that. So it, it runs a sander pretty easy. This thing right here will spike up to 600 watts, but it only uses as far as watts. It does it what it does. It spikes when it's under load, and then it drops off. I do like the fact that they did include a ground, so you can plug those things in. Let's see if it does this. Well, that's not faulting it out and this thing will spike up to 600 this is a really strong drill so you if you were running a job job site let's run them both actually wow i'm running both of these pretty good you see that 
Now what I'm gonna do, let me grab my little trolling motor, hook my trolling motor up to this battery, and let's see how it pushes that trolling motor. So let me unhook all this and get the motor over here. Okay, there it is. So I've hooked it up to my trolling motor. Everybody check this out. So this is the Newport Vessels trolling motor, and then I'm gonna run it off the battery because this is one of the reasons I got this, is to run an inverter and then run one of these trolling motors. So let me see how much power it has. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. This thing is fully, so it's showing up there. Let me go ahead turn it on and see how this thing see how it spins wow that works perfect look at that that's reverse three speed reverse do the stop this has a five speed on it by the way that's full speed look at that this thing's working great. This is exactly what I got it for right here. Yeah, so there it is, everybody. I ran it on a power, a 15 watt power inverter running tools, and now I ran it on the trolling motor, which is, you know, it, it uses a good amount of power, but it seemed to hold this very well. I've been impressed. So I'm, I recommend the Gold Mate. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be running this in my boat and then pretty much on all my trips. It's good to have a battery and even a backup battery. And I will have a solar panel hooked to this thing. So yeah, there it is, everybody. That's all I got on the Gold Mate. 4 battery and trolling motor. See y'all in the next video.